everybody. I'm Miss Linda. You're probably wondering why am I holding a dish full of beautiful desserts? They look really tasty, don't they? The only problem is we can't eat them. They're made out of model magic. So join me and I'll show you how to make these delicious donuts. See you soon. Okay, friends. I thought I would try to show you also this fun uh, little dessert. You're probably looking at the donuts and seeing my little cupcakes also they're pretty cute so I thought maybe I will show you how I did these they're a little bit more work but you might be able to do it since you made your donut and you uh, learned how to mix the colors I'm starting with a brown clay that I already mixed so I'm just gonna make a ball out of it again I'm using a my hands I'm gonna make it round I'm gonna try and get all those little dents out of it the only thing I want to use that's different from what I use there is I'm gonna use a popsicle stick as a clay tool so that's what I'm gonna to use to give these little lines to make my cupcakes look like cupcakes all right so that's the chocolate part of the cupcake now I'm gonna take some yellow, so it looks like the paper around the cupcake. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the yellow, I think I'll pinch a little bit off just in case I wanted to use it for sprinkles or if I wanted to make another color out of it. So again, I'm using the palm of my hands. I'm rolling it. Next, I'm going to Put it there. Now what I'm thinking is I wanna have it big, slightly bigger than this piece because it's gonna wrap around it, but it's going to be flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the round piece of yellow clay and I'm gonna flatten it with the palm of my hands. Like a pancake, it's gonna be flat but not real thin so it could break. I'm just using my fingers to keep it round, but kind of pull it apart so that it flattens. Okay. I'm just going around making sure that it's flat. And I can pick it up, and when I pick it up, I pull it apart also. So I'm picking it up, and I'm kind of slightly, very lightly picking it up and pulling it in a circle, okay? So then I'm gonna take my cupcake and I'm gonna put it in the middle and just kind of wrap it around it. So now it looks like the cupcake is in some paper. So now you can also use the table to kind of wrap it around it. Ooh. And then at this point, I can also use my popsicle stick as my tool. And I'm just using the flat part of it just to flatten it. Now I can also put it this way, turn it over on its side and push it down too. And turn it like it's a wheel. I'm turning it around just like that. See that? Now it's starting to look like it's a cup or a paper around a um, cupcake. So next I'm gonna put in the lines that go around the cupcake. So I'm gonna kind of poke that in there. I'm using the side of my popsicle stick for this. So all you need is a one little line going across it to give it that paper look. I'm going around the whole cupcake. Okay. And I'm gonna pick it up a little bit, maybe flatten it on the bottom so it doesn't roll. So now it's looking pretty close to that cupcake, doesn't it? So 
so my next step is I'm going to use the white. If you have some white, if you want to use another color, you can go ahead and use another color as well. But I'm going to take the white. I'm going to roll it again in the ball. On the palm of my hand. Right. I'm just going to move this a second. And I'm going to roll it like a hot dog. Nice and oval. So I'll roll it with my two finger, two hands. And I'm just trying to get it nice and long. So it looks like some kind of icing or whipped cream. Doesn't that look good? Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take this shape and we're gonna use, we're gonna make it like a spiral. And a spiral or a coil is something that goes around, you might see a snake shape. This kind of looks like a snake, but it's gonna wrap around, almost like a, in a circle. So I'm gonna start here on my cupcake and I'm gonna go around the top. I'm not bringing it down to the, et, the side edge. I'm just wrapping it around like it's a spiral or like an ice cream cone, anything that has this kind of shape. So there you go. Now it looks like it has a whipped cream. So if I wanted to make this strawberry, I can take my red clay, pinch a piece off, and a strawberry shape would be a ball, <clears throat> kind of like this. And then it kind of has a, um, Kind of pinch the bottom a little bit. See that? And then I could use little pieces of white. So I can pull a little piece off or I can cut it like we did with our, um, spark, our sprinkles that we used. We can do that or I can just make little tiny, this might be kind of hard to do, but use your finger and make a little tiny ball and you can just add that to your strawberry. Make little tiny circles and just add that to your strawberry. Isn't that cute? So Model Magic is really fun to use and to make pretend or play food. Um, it's really, really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna make the color green. To make green for the strawberry, we use yellow and blue, but a little bit more yellow than blue. So I'm gonna take a little bit. I only need a little bit of uh, green and a tiny bit of blue. This is just probably this amount. And this isn't much. I'm gonna even take off a little bit more. We can always add to it, which is nice about. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a ball. I'm going to kind of pinch the top a little bit. So it almost looks like, almost like a Hershey kiss. And then I'm going to try and flatten it a little bit on the bottom because I'm going to attach this part to the strawberry. <laughs> it actually almost looks like a little hat, doesn't it? Look like a little hat. So my strawberry has a little hat on it. There you go. There you go, there's my strawberry. And I'm gonna put that right on top. 
bottom of the cupcake. And if you want to add more sprinkles, you can certainly add sprinkles to it. But that's how I went about making my cupcake. So there you have it. Cupcakes and donuts. Have fun. Make as many as you can. And let me know how it goes. I can't wait to see them. Okay, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.